and earn the three points that brings them closer to safety. And the referee today is the uh, son of Paul Durkin, is James Durkin, uh, the referee, and he gets the game underway. It's drilled forward. Skura twists his body out of the way to let the ball run through to Cousins. Cousins rolls it out to Skura. Skura been a very successful loan transfer from Wickham. It's a lovely turn. Gets him away from Mitchell. And Polion gets behind Long. Davis backpedalling. Belongo into the area. Polion across the area to Chapman. Clifford overlapping on his right. Chapman shoots. Chapman! What a goal! Ben Chapman breaks the deadlock. I don't think he would have tried that under Dennis Kutri, but uh, he was a good way out. He was probably 20 yards from goal on the right-hand side. But put it in the back of the net. That's going to open the game up now. Polian in the area. Polian. Oh, and the goalkeeper dives to his left and denies Polian. The police leading goal scorer gets to his feet. <laughs> and a lunch interval. Be lovely. <laughs> but you won't get it here. We've had tea here. You've had tea, yeah. but, you, but you won't get the uh, cakes and... Uh, tea yeah. and the chocolate wafer snack. The, which, the, uh, the, the sundries that you get at Canterbury. <laughs> oh, good ball through to Edsa. He's in the box, left-hand side. He keeps it in. Gets a good cross to the far post. Bingham's there. Can't connect, but Chapman's coming in again. Chapman, edge of the box. Oh, it whistled past the post. And Chapman, he's, his eyes must have widened as he saw the goal. Dever by the, by the, the team on the right-hand side. Some lovely touches by Bingham we've seen as well in the field up play. Danny Sowell's got a great philosophy, you know, that being a missed a penalty at, uh, at Dagenham, it was saved, and uh, Danny Sowell's philosophy is, look, we all make mistakes, you know, don't worry about the mistakes, just, just you know, concentrate on your game and what you're good at, and, and that's what he's inbreeding in, in, into this side. So a little mistake that we see here and there, don't let it dwell. Here comes Adam Long. Ball played out to the left-hand side to Conway forward now to Whitehead Whitehead goes forward for the return but it's too long, picked up by Wright Wright playing a 1-2 first of all with Skura but this is dangerous, Ormrod over the head, it's the chance oh and it's turned away is it a goal kick or has the referees awarded the corner it's a great challenge by Belong a throw in and Mitchell seems to have a bit of a mood on at the moment he's not happy when things don't go his way Polion ball kept in play by him it doesn't go out for the goal kick Polion into the area he's got a lot of work to do it goes to Skura in fact it was uh, Fogarty Fogarty in the area can he pull it back Fogarty all oh, into the side netting and he's disappointed with that but Fogarty doing well to get full. Um, uh, Ebbsfleet United against uh, AFC Fold. Just about to kick off the second half here with uh, Ebbsfleet leading by a goal to nil. Uh, Stonebridge Road. Play continues with Toby Edser probing forward for Ebbsfleet. Bingham on the ball. Slides it through for Belongo on the left-hand side. Belongo doing battle with Connor Barrett. Barrett goes to ground and the referee gives a free kick. About five yards up from the corner flag. And it's going to be goalkeeper Theo Richardson to take this. Richardson goes down the line. Wanted to pick out the uh, forward Danny Ormerod, but didn't reach him. But here's a strong run through the middle by Ethan Mitchell. Mitchell out to the right-hand side to Oosterbassi. Good challenge. Kenlock robs him of the ball. Plays the ball forward to Polion. Polion being wrestled to the ground. The referee gives nothing. Adam Long... It was like something from the WWE on Polian. But here on the left-hand side, Walker gets the ball to the far post. The header comes in, and Ormrod makes contact but sends it over the bar. Yeah, dark arts from both players, though, Chex. Thank you very much. Uh, the rugby update there from uh, Graham Cox. Uh, I think we can send you, uh, send you back to the Jules on our radio frequencies here at Bradford City, training by a goal to nil with our commentary team, Peter Lloyd, and firstly, Matt Davison. Chapman to Bingham, Bingham in the box, Bingham over the bar. Well, there we go. As, uh, <laughs> as we split frequencies there, all control free, don't you? You have to control everything, try and control everything. And as soon as you, well, on a Saturday, the thing that you're trying to control is uncontrollable. Well, how on earth do you do that? Chapman trying to control things, he doesn't <laughs> manage it. Ed said, clears the ball away. 
And of course, once they cross the white line, there's not much you can do. Well, exactly, yeah. Uh, Perhaps that's the wonder of it. Clifford leads the ball to Skewer. Skewer, oh, gets away from a tight situation to get the ball to Kenlock. Kenlock to Edsa. Edsa inside left channel. Out to Belongo on the left wing. Belongo back to right. Right. Not able to really probe forward. Back to Kenlock. Foggart is available, but Clifford goes for the Hail Mary ball to Chapman. He's in the area. Chapman heads in. Chapman! It's 2 0 Emsleet. Chapman gets his third of the season. 54 minutes on the clock. Chapman, and it's all because of Clifford's ball. Emsleet 2, fouled nil. Chapman heads in, goal number two. Yeah, the ball coming across into the penalty area. There's a, a real hesitancy, hesitancy, a perfect ball, really, uh, between goalkeeper and defender. There's been a bit of an inquest, and then both of them just looked at the floor as it came across. Max Conway had uh, Chapman running in behind him. Keeper's come out and then stopped. Chapman's got in between. Conway. Conway, oh, Chapman slides in with a tackle that didn't work. Here's Clifford again. Clifford, he's got Poland. Poland's in the area. Poland, oh, just past the goal. Only the goalkeeper to beat. Polion, you'd have put your house on that. Just scored one goal this season. Chapman's going to take this. He's got two this afternoon. So there you go. Chapman again. Chapman into the area quickly. Poland, oh, leaves it. Bingham on the edge of the box. Bingham to, oh, strokes it to Belongo. Belongo. And and the ball's gone out for a goal kick. The last man to touch it, I think, it was Polion. Yeah, it came in at the near post. Couldn't feed it through to the six-yard box. Clifford. Well, the determination he's got. Now Bingham. Bingham to Chapman. Chapman swiftly into the area. Oh, Pilar. Polion. Polion didn't connect. Clifford coming in. He couldn't connect. Kenlock. He knows how to clear the ball. And this McQueen is uh, playing in the middle, which is interesting. He's uh, playing in pretty much the same position that Polian was. This is dangerous. Utabasi inside, edge of the box. Oh, and over the bar. Shot coming in from Whitehead. Ends up on the terraces behind. As he hugs Danny Searle and Anwar Udin, the uh, fleet coach. But here's Hunter on the edge of the box. Can he pull something back? Not if... Uh, Messrs. Cousins and Skewer have anything to do with it. Hunter. Hunter in the centre circle. Bingham. Bingham, he's got Clifford in the area. Clifford, goalkeeper to beat. Oh, Clifford missed it. Oh, and Danny Searle turns away. He can't believe it. That was an astonishing miss by Clifford. It was a great ball in behind the defence, and he's, he's ball out wide to Belongo. Belongo dwells on the ball and loses possession cheaply, but Josh Wright is there. He's trying to see the ball out, but he doesn't do so. And the ball in the back of the net, and it's the substitute, is it? I think it's all more that's poked. have conceded. Yeah, I think it's all more that's poked at home at the near post, actually. Or is it, beg your pardon, it's McCullion who's come on, isn't it? Oh, the substitute. My apologies, yeah. McCullion. Yeah, they've worked it across the six yard box there. Billy Clifford is shouting his defence. He's not pleased with that. But yeah, he's a stabbed at home at the near post. I mean, it's not done this, is it? 2 1 now. Well, as I said, two goals is a dangerous scoreline to defend. One can often become two. And Ebsleet's game management now has got to be called into question. 